Hello, welcome to my first ever episode of Hashtag Indonesian Pride. In this episode, I'm going to talk about influential Indonesians that left their country. Keep in mind that there are hundreds to thousands of influential Indonesians, but I'm not going to have enough time to talk about them all. So in this video, I am going to choose two. The first one is Baharudin Yusuf Habibi, or better known as Habibi, or Pa Habibi. Habibi was born in Parepare, south of Sulawesi. In Indonesia, as a child, he swore that he would build his country and envisioned an Indonesian airspace industry to connect the millions of islands in Indonesia. His love of aviation and intellect brought him to the RWTH Aachen University in Germany with an engineering degree. Habibi developed theories on thermodynamics construction, and aerodynamics known as the Habibi Factor, Habibi Theorem, and the Habibi Method. The Habibi Theorem explained how the parts inside of an airplane cracked over time. His discoveries like the Habibi Theorem contribute to the aerospace industry, helping aerospace companies like Airbus and Boeing to create longer lasting aircraft. His genius attracted many countries and companies like Boeing, Philippines, and most prominently, Germany, offered him citizenship and work. But Habibi declined all of them, especially the offer from Germany, because he knew that if he accepted Germany's offer to become a German citizen, he would lose his Indonesian citizenship, and because he wanted to make his dream of an Indonesian aerospace industry that connects all of the 17,500 islands of Indonesia came to life. Next is Lim Suiking. Lim Suiking is an Indonesian Chinese badminton player that won the All England Cup. He was one of the top badminton players at the time, beating out famous badminton players from other countries like Denmark and China. He was one of the first badminton players to brought Indonesia to the world stage and made Indonesia national badminton team a quite a name to fear. Despite his successes on his badminton career, during his childhood, he faced racial discrimination due to his Chinese background. Both of his parents were from Fujian, China. He even was forced to change his name to Guntur during his middle school. But this doesn't stop him from winning and wanting to represent Indonesian badminton in the world stage. His love for badminton and Indonesia overpowered the racial discrimination that he faced. All of his efforts paid off by the winning of the All England Cup three times in 1978, 1979, and 1981. He was hailed as one of the best badminton players of all time, thus earning him along with his country and the Badminton Hall of Fame. These two influential people, Habibi and Lim Suiking, both have one thing in common. Both of them wish their dreams and fame because of their pride and love for Indonesia. So let us as teenagers love Indonesia and reach success by contributing to this great nation and also cleanse ourselves from racism. Because that is the principle of our great nation, Binika Tunggalika which means unity and diversity. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. Please drop a like below if you like this video and click the subscribe button below to get notified for upcoming videos. Thank you.